evening broadcast from the studio. Yeah, here is what I wanted to say today. For the longest time, I've been really curious how some of the people that are presenting solutions and alternatives to our failing system, the system is failing. We know that. It's failing on many levels. In fact, it's a perfect storm possibly, even in the sense that from an emotional point of view, considering that there are more wars now than probably in the history of mankind going on, the amount of killing that is going on in the name of whatever you, you want. It's not just religious, it's anything. It's oil, it's religion, it's money, it's power, it's greed, the whole works. Anyway, the system is failing and we have the failure of all failures has begun. The nuclear meltdowns at Fukushima. The first one, Three Mile Island and Chernobyl, have so far been contained, but apparently Chernobyl is not going to be contained for much longer. This is something that no one wants to face. And the cement is pulverizing with the ongoing fission at the Chernobyl plant. Anyway, Chernobyl, yeah. The one we're looking at is Fukushima. There is a breakdown that is now beginning to occur in these plants and which will escalate. And the level of escalation all depends on how quickly humanity acts. And I've always been wondering how these certain groups and certain individuals that are always in the, they never get to have their finger on the trigger, on the button for anything, but they're spouting off in the background with all their solutions. So in my mind, if you're not on the trigger, if you're not in power, you have really nothing to lose. So let's hear what you have to say. Well, LaRouche has been going on in his classical model. I have, I, I have a great deal of uh, difficulty with an individual that is in some other age. He's living out of the Renaissance at some point, or Bach and beautiful art, beautiful art. But we're now in the present. The art of the present is not the art of the past, the classical. We need to reinvent something that is going to work for us now, not sit in the past and marvel at the fabulous Rubens or the Grecos. No, we're in the present. Anyway, my point is I've always been wondering an individual like LaRouche or Webster Tarpley, they were at one point, I think, joined at the hip and they had a falling out. They all have falling outs because they hate each other's guts ultimately. They all part company continuously because they're so fickle in their, uh, in their selfishness. Anyway, I got my answer. Uh, I, went on to a, I went on to a site called uh, LaRouche Support. Now, I don't know if this... Uh, channel is in fact uh, through the man's uh, central nexus. I don't know. It's called LaRouche support. Now listen to this. Okay, listen to this. I'm going to, I left a comment because I'm curious about what these people think about Fukushima because they have all these great solutions for our world problems and the impending doom and LaRouche is going on about uh, thermonuclear Armageddon. Well, of course, that's a possibility. This is something that has not occurred. What has occurred is Fukushima and its meltdowns and the other factories, plants, the other Fukushimas that are going to happen. And Fukushima Fuel Pool 4 is a major concern right now. So, you know, I left a comment on this site and I... Uh, here was here was my comment it was a little bit aggressive i suppose uh because i get so frustrated with these people just spouting off about nothing uh well it's not nothing but they're not looking at the real issue i want to know what they think about fukushima so i said uh, uh on this particular i'm gonna leave the link to this guy's uh channel I say LaRouche, he is afraid of thermonuclear war, but has no problem with 542 nuclear plants all over the planet. One of them is in a three-actor meltdown, China syndrome, with 1,542 spent fuel rods possibly likely to collapse, which will lead, which will lead to, all, to an end to all biological life, because the MOX fuel, the plutonium in these fuel rods are, the amount is going to end all, all biological life on the planet. Okay, this is a scientific, you, you go and check the science on how much plutonium is required to end all life on the planet. And this fuel pool has enough to do it. So anyway, ending all biological life, my comment, continue. 
He has ridiculed continuously Obama, for good reason, as a modern day Nero. But in fact, LaRouche, <laughs> this is where I get a little nasty because he always talks about Obama being Nero and marrying his horse. I say, well, in fact, LaRouche uh, is marrying his donkey while Japan and soon the rest of us will be burning. What is the matter with you people? So this, this was my comment. Now here's, first uh, he insulted me and said I'm stupid, uh, this fellow, and now here is the answer. This is what I've wondered all along, what these people are thinking, and here's what they're saying. This is his response. Fukushima is a hoax used for propaganda purposes in order to stop modern nuclear progress in Japan and elsewhere. <laughs> and to push people into voluntary decline back to the dark ages, meaning green fascists depopulation agenda in action is what that is. Do you know how many people actually died as a direct result of the accident. Do you? This is the guy's response. And this is exactly, exactly what I've been wondering about these guys all the time because they haven't mentioned. So there you go. You have this group exposed because they think they, I don't know how this works. In their minds, a 25 mile exclusion zone, which is way too small at this point, is a hoax. The Japanese are just making it up so that the depopulationists who are going to get rid of all nuclear energy and then we're going to have one fifth of the population because we don't have nuclear energy. What a bunch of cretins. This is incredible, the reasoning behind this. He insults me. He says I'm stupid because I ask, what is your position on Fukushima? It's a hoax. There you go. People, you got it. It's a hoax. I'm going to link this guy's thing to the bottom and you can have a look and if he doesn't delete my comment I don't know how how they are about that but there you go I've been wondering about this Fukushima is a hoax hey Cleo Cleo beastie Fukushima is a hoax did you know it was a hoax do you think it's a hoax yeah look at her she's saying she's incredulous <laughs>